Okay, hello everyone. Today I will let you take a peek, take a look. Today I, I want to share my life as a PhD student in UST. Check it out. I am living in area called Sin Song Dong and my house uh, just around 20 minutes walking to the research institute so as the morning routine I'm uh, I just take a walk for there or uh, usually I also use bike but today it's freezing cold so I prefer to walk now from the apps it say minus 9 and it's even just starting of December uh, and actually it's very suddenly yesterday was not this bad so I have to put more layer in here okay so I will fast forward this one and see uh, what usually I do as a student in care. Let's go. In Kier, we have a safety rules called SGR from Safety Golden Rules. One of the important rules is the safety on the road here. So the cars are limited the speed to 30 km per hour inside the uh, Kier area. And also if you uh, ride a bike you have to use uh, safety gear such as helmet hmm. to make sure your safety of course inside the laboratory it's more strict but it's good for you right and this is my office building office and laboratory it's called a complex building W1 uh, It's nice, right? But freezing morning Today I came a little bit earlier, so I don't disturb the other person who is making the video. And usually I just make uh, some preparation before doing the experiment and daily routine. Just check emails uh, and as my research is concentrated on synthesis of polymer so it's really uh, organic chemistry uh, usually I prepare the stoichiometry or other procedure make sure ev uh, everything is uh, correct and then I start the experiment okay let me 
take my time to do that for a while. It's so cold. Really cold. Okay, now time for me to make some to do some experiment. Of course, I will not uh, show you what's inside, but uh, just a little bit explain what I want to do. And yeah, here is our labs and display. And as you can see here, some uh, notice for the safety. And of course, as I mentioned previously, we have to follow the SGR. Okay, now I should prepare my safety gear. Okay, ta-da! Now I'm ready. Uh, I already used the protective uh, goggles and then gloves and lab coat and also close shoes. This is the minimum as SGR mentioned, and of course. We cannot bring the uh, foods there. Oh, the jewelry, you also have to take it off. Okay, I will uh, go inside and do my experiments and maybe see you later before the lunch time. Okay, now time to go for lunch. Uh, it's very cold now, so uh, our we have a cafeteria out there uh, in the cafeteria building, two floor, and several menu available there. Let's see. Here we have three types menu. A, B, C. Sorry guys, but I cannot show show you more. I prefer to eat outside today, as today is Friday, and just feel like want to eat something more. Yeah. Like more delicious, uh, more delicious, or more than ordinary <laughs> routine. <laughs> uh, I'm planning to go for outside uh, to uh, Uzbek or an Indian, Indian restaurant. restaurant. Uh, uh, that restaurant called uh, Curry Nine, uh, and also. Uh, as today is Friday, we are going for uh, Friday prayer, yeah. as mostly the Muslim do. Yeah, luckily we can do it because uh, although the time is more than the normal working hour, usually it takes from 12 to 2 p.m. including the moving time yeah, uh, but no, no. actually we have a special working time for yeah, students yeah. like sip, sip. Uh, actually just recently we have the student uh, contract and then uh, the total working hours around 28 hours in a week so we can arrange that as we want if you have class you can uh, fill that schedule based on uh, your class schedule and then in friday you can also do it like this just spare some time for praying and then go back to lab as you have to do okay
come back here in Kier. Actually, uh, we, in Kier we also have some facilities like uh, library and then uh, gym and so on. Uh, and we also have, of course, a plenty of uh, meeting room that usually can be used also for the class. In my case, I don't have any more class because I finished all my credits. So, uh, in case you still need some class, maybe if you are lucky enough, you have some some interesting class in your institute. You can take it, and you don't need to uh, spend more time uh, to moving around from one point to another. But uh, if not, you can find some other course in the other institute of USD or, or also you can take class in other university like in case of Daejeon, Kais, Jungnam or if you are in Seoul uh, you can go to SNU something like that it's possible but still uh, we work here with the uh, student contract if the student here have a class then the working hour can be a little bit adjust in uh, as i mentioned before that the student contract is 28 hour, uh, working hours in a week so you can manage the uh, schedule and just exclude the class uh, from the uh, working hour and put it in the study hours uh, and then yeah it's easy to manage okay thank you for following me for the whole day if you have any questions just put in the comment below and i will try my best to keep in touch with you let's wrap it up goodbye time to go home